a little, little bit of heavy turning going on here. Uh, this is a, a Tuppen hydraulic shaft, three and a quarter inches. It's um, about uh, 1,200 uh, long, and uh, I'm cutting um, about three mil aside. Now the tough, toughness is nearly three mil. Um, so I've just gone over the toughness and I'm um, running 80, 80 revs and, and uh, a feed rate of uh, 0.025, that's in metric, and, uh, and uh, a three mil a side cut. Um, it seems to be about the best way. I have been persisting with these, this is the fourth one I've done. Um, cutting really slowly with half mil cuts trying to, to get through the toughness. Um, I haven't measured how hard it is, I will later when, uh, when I get a piece cut off, um, but you can't touch it with a, with a punch. It's way too, way too hard to even mark the punch. The punch just flattens up on the end. So I've got, this is a hydraulic shaft, I've uh, got to put a taper on here, but I can't get away with the taper, I've just got to, in one cut, I've just got to um, go really, really slowly with the taper. Um, and, and it's working. This should be the final pass. Almost well. Uh, I'll have to do another cover. 
quite little little um, small passes. Just to clean that up. It's pretty close, but um, I'll do a couple of small and um, and she should fit okay. And clean that lovely counter up on the end too as well. So here's where we're up to now. Um, I'm going to attempt to part this off. I'm not sure whether it'll work. Um, I didn't film the threading. Uh, it was too hard to to film and thread at the same time. We had to set up the uh, my, my phone on a, um, on a on a mag base, and it was a little bit out of time. So um, I've got the um, got a steady on, uh, but it's a still a fair way back. Um, I've got the jib hanging around in case we do cut it off. Um, but I've decided not to cut it all the way. I'll leave a, a few mil, just enough to hold it, and then I'll just dog it off with the angle grinder, I think. Um, I don't know, it, I can dog all that off with the angle grinder anyway. But uh, that's, that's where we're up to now. So we've got, uh, we've got the, the 30 degree taper on here for welding, and, uh, the, and we've got a 30 degree taper on the, on the, on the new shaft. I've, I'm running the um, the lay's re really slow, oh, 80 revs, um, just just because, just to be safe, I think. A little bit of oil. It's not really stable, I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not. So I'll just creep in here really slowly. Too bad. You may, you may see the shaft uh, going up and down a little bit. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble with uh, it moving on me when I was doing some heavy cuts. But the shaft is the top of the street is correct. It's a four mil wide uh, cutting kit. It's good for this lathe, but um, the smaller lathe, uh, it's a little bit too wide. It's, it's working quite well. You be careful when you're parting off something this large. Yeah. When I was cutting the shafts, the size I left a bit behind, um, and then when I turned them around, I parted them off the last little bit in the, um, uh, on the, on the end, other end of the steady. That's working quite well. I could probably go a lot faster. I think I usually like to use the, uh, use the coolant, seems to work really well. Um, that threading and parting. This lathe, I haven't got the coolant set up on it. It's really not worth it for me. I don't use it that often. You know. when, you be, when you come to use it again, all the coolant will be evaporated away. about the, the rod end kicking in that last little bit. Let's see how we go uh, getting this into here. It's quite difficult to screw in. I've done one already. Um, hopefully it's, uh, a bolt screw 
screws up there and the nut screws on there, so technically it should fit. It's quite difficult. There we go, that's the last of them. It's quite a, quite a big job for me. So, um, back from the welder, he's, he, he, he ground them up um, a bit, so, um, so I didn't, couldn't show you his, uh, his welding job, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Um, a little tiny bit of undercutting. I've got, got rid of that now. And, um, um, yeah, they're all ready to go. Okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll, um, we'll get another video out again another day. And um, there we go.